part, 1.1 still, we still haven't moved on yet because today we have to talk about bonding. So we know what an atom looks like from the previous video. If you haven't watched that video, go back, rewatch it. If you haven't, watch it for the first time and then move on to this one. We're going to talk about what bonds are. So let's first talk about a covalent bond, simple definitions. Right now, before we even move forward, make sure you have your ACE Marine Cambridge syllabus. It's going to walk you through exactly what you need to know for your tests at the end of the year. Again, the link is below in the description, just like the last video. So covalent bonds, what are they? Well, when I think of co, I think of like a couple, right? They both start with co. What do we know about couples? Well, they're always together. So co means together. So a covalent bond is going to be when we have one atom sharing electrons with another because we know couples share things with each other. So what is covalent bonds and why are they important to us? So what are covalent bonds? First, they share electrons. They're going to share something called valence electrons. Valence, they're on the outside. So we have co-couple, right, together. And they're going to share electrons just like couples share things with each other. So for us, covalent bonds are important because just like what we see on our screen right now, that is one water molecule. One oxygen, two hydrogens. One water molecule. Now we know the ocean, our bottle of water. Everything that has water in it has more than one water molecule. So let's keep in mind, one water molecule has covalent bonds. They're gonna be our couple. Then hydrogen bonds. We're going to think hydrogen bonds are going to attract another couple to them. So now we have two or more water molecules. So what happens in a hydrogen bond? They're actually usually weak. They're strong enough to hold together, but they are pretty weak, which means they can break. And that's what allows water to boil. Now, what will happen in a hydrogen bond? The hydrogen will attract to an electronegative atom. In this case, it's oxygen. Electronegative, remember, Electrons are negative, so electronegative, that probably means they like to pull electrons a little closer. So with a hydrogen bond, we have two or more water molecules attracting to each other and forming a bond. The next bond that's really important in this class is an ionic bond. Ion is a charge. So let's talk about salt, Na. CL. That's going to be like the salt you find on your table that you might put on your french fries. Yeah, NaCl is also what forms the salt, some of the salt that we have in our ocean. There are other salts, okay? Let's make sure we know that. But the main salt is Na and Cl. So with Na, it's going to give a valence electron. So sodium is going to give a valence electron to chlorine. Now, chlorine is going to accept that electron, and what they're going to form is an ionic bond. Notice in the bottom right, right here, we have Na+, which means that we have a cation. All right, so a cation is positive, right? Because cat paws, right? Cation is positive. An anion is going to be negative. So just some fun ways to think of bonding. We talked about covalent bonds. Co, think couple, they share things. Hydrogen bonds, they're going to be weak, but couples attracting other couples. And ionic bonds. Ionic bonds are going to form charges. We said cat ions, cat paws, so cat positive. And then of course, anions, which are gonna be negative. Liked this video, go ahead and like it. And of course, subscribe so you can continue to stay on top of Ace Marine. Next time, we're going to talk about 1.2. So we are going to move on. See ya.